When you're doing phlebotomy, order of draw and labeling of your tubes really important. So I'm going to let you think about, okay, you had all these different colored tubes, what order would you be doing it in? So I'm hopeful that you would have said that if blood cultures were ordered, well one, that's a little bit different, you need to be sure you aseptically prepare that site because we don't want to have contamination from the skin and they would go first okay so most people most of the time we don't do a lot of blood cultures unless the patient has a fever and they want to uh, rule out if, that they're not septic that they they don't have something growing in their blood okay so let's go back to what's most typical with our, our order of draw so you always take a look at your request because you're always going to do patient identification. Patient identification is, is so important. I can't emphasize it more. And so once you know what tests you're going to be um, drawing and you have your patient and your, and your labels and you, everyone's properly um, identified, what is the order of draw? So you really do need to understand what's happening in each of these as an MLT. Um, so this is a tube. It has um, sodium citrate in it. It's for coagulation studies and it goes first. Then what you're going to do is tubes that don't have any additives to them. So gold, this is a serum separator tube and um, it would go second or any tubes it could be a tiger top there's other other tubes that do not have anything in them um, it could be gold it could be tiger top so then the next that you're going to do is you're going to go with your green tops and that's heparin and so this is lithium heparin this is a lithium heparin they're just different um, size draws um, they also have gel at the bottom um, so they would go next and it doesn't matter if you had the light green before the, the dark green they're exactly the same um, just different volume draws and then you have your purple top and that is a uh, K2 EDTA the K member is potassium so we want to have that last because we don't want to accident, uh, accidentally contaminate our chemistry because our electrolytes Potassium is one of those electrolytes, and we don't want to inadvertently have the um, anticoagulant from the tube that's not in the patient um, misleading uh, what's happening in the patient. Okay, so this would be the order of draw. So when you have that, you have your blood, you're, you may be uh, having your patient um, holding the, the gauze while you're it's going to start labeling your tube. So many times well I think this is another pet peeves that we have labeling the tube is so important you want to put the date and time and your initials so you're taking responsibility really for the identification of the patient and it's you can be referred back we're not going to come and yell at you for something sometimes stuff does looks might look funny to us um, with regarding the lab results and it's always nice to be able to go back and double check any pre-analytical issues um, with the person that was actually there and that, in that case that would have been you so you're always going the more more and more you're going to have printed labels that's going to help with the patient identification and then all you're going to do is put the, the date and time uh, the dates often already um, on there and then you just have to put the the time which I'm just going to put, put some time and then take responsibility. Be bold and proud. Put your initials or your employee number um, down on there. So, you, so you're going to label. So, I don't know, people do the darndest things with labels. <laughs> they wrap it around, they, they put it crooked, they don't put them on. So I guess crooked is better than no label, but Many times we're putting the, the tube onto an analyzer. The analyzer is scanning the barcode. And so if the barcode is, is not quite right, then it can't read the barcode. And then we have to spend more time adjusting it. And, and that also delays patient results. 
So we we want, you have to follow your procedure, but most of the places that I've ever worked at would want to have your, your name to the top and towards the cap, the, the, the side of the cap. And then you can see that there's colored on the label of the tube itself. It's kind of nice not to ha hide that, but it's also nice to be able to see what's still in the tube. So I'll just cover that, that opening here, that window. So go ahead and put the edge of your, your label name towards the, the top of the tube, the cap, and, and put the labels as straight as you can. And voila, you can still see. So once the cap is off, you could still know that that was sodium citrate. It was a light blue top. And you have a nice window to see what the level is. You can see if it's hemolyzed or acteric or lipemic. Okay, so please, this is, you know, you'll appreciate it once you're working with analyzers. So you label it in front of the patient. Okay, and here, see a little bit of color nice and straight There's lots of windows so you can see what's happening in the tube I'll do it one more time three's a charm right so we're having a heparin tube again see some of the color so we still know that that's a heparin tube see this nice barcode it's nice and straight that barcode on the analyzer is going to be happy you can see what's in the tube Please, please, okay. Don't do that. Okay. The analyzer can't read that, that um, barcode, and we really can't see that window very well. Don't do anything like that either. This is actually, I, I, can, I can't even mimic real world. Because, you know, some analyzers, we actually have to take the, 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 the cap off. And others, again, the main thing, the barcode reader cannot read that barcode. And that contains all the information uh, and the test about that patient. So that analyzer needs to be able to communicate to the, um, the uh, LIS, the lab information system, and the, and, and the electronic record. It's all computerized, um, and it all starts here on being able to read and start and do it right. So please label nicely and cleanly.